What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the ER Forum. So in today's video, we're in San Francisco and we're gonna discuss why I chose not to apply to CRNA school. Welcome to the episode. skills in the emergency department you will do far more skills than any other department for the most part all right guys so unfortunately the Warriors lost today but they did go to overtime which was really cool that was fun. really cool so what's the plan right now Steph what are we gonna do um, we're gonna go find something to eat and charge our phones because oh yeah my phone's dead over. my phone's dead so we're gonna go charge our phones right now but uh, you want to tell the people here why I did not apply to see our school? oh I think it's she doesn't even know so since Steph has no idea why I did not apply to CRNA school, other than yeah, the fact that it's not care. cool. Uh, guys, I really just didn't apply to CRNA school because I don't, I'm not that interested in anesthesia, to be honest. I've actually shadowed a few anesthesiologists myself, one of which was actually one of my letter of recommendations for my ER job I currently have and also for PA school. And so I've done my fair share of shadowing in the operating room with anesthesia and I just don't personally like it for me. You know, I was more focused on being able to move around throughout uh, the day, seeing multiple patients that are awake and conscious. And I, I do understand that anesthesia does have pre-op settings and things like that. But for me, like I said, I just didn't really like anesthesia. That was the main point as to why I did not want to apply to CRNA school. So there's Chase Stadium there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What? Kane is spitting game. Oh my god. <laughs> You're already happy, Kane. You don't need to be sick. <laughs> Alright, guys, so the second reason as to why I decided not to apply to CRNA school was the time it took to actually become a CRNA. So, for those of you that don't know, I would have to get a four year undergraduate degree in nursing, which I currently have. And then I have to work in the ICU. Oftentimes, people don't get into the ICU fresh out of school. Now, with that being said, let's say I did. If I got accepted in the ICU fresh out of nursing school, I'd have to do one to two years worth of or I would have to gain at least one to two years worth of experience before I can even apply to CRNA school then from there CRNA school is three years especially seeing that I don't like anesthesia it didn't make a lot of sense for me the length in which I'd have to actually train in order to become a certified registered nurse anesthetist so that's the second reason as to why I did not apply to CRNA school all right guys so the third and final reason as to why I decided not to apply to CRNA school was of course the lateral mobility. So the lack of lateral mobility that CRNAs had didn't really appeal to me. You guys know that I applied to PA school because I like the lateral mobility or the ability to change specialties whenever I so choose to. So the third and final reason as to why I did not apply to CRNA school was a lack of lateral mobility. So guys, we're here in San Francisco. Just really wanted to make a quick video for you. Stephanie actually surprised me, like I said, with game tickets for uh, my Christmas gift, I guess. That was an amazing Christmas gift. Uh, they went into overtime, so it was an awesome, awesome game. We're going to find something to eat right now. We're going to go to sleep. I'm going to edit this video, and it will be posted tomorrow morning for you guys. So with that being said, really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram if you want to see what I am doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So we will see you guys in the next video.